Hey guys, welcome back. It's Moses Finley here. In the last video, I introduced myself and talked about some of my backstory as a developer. I also talked about Tracker and an integration with Near Protocol. If you haven't seen the first video yet, you should definitely check it out. Just to give you a quick overview, we started Tracker because we needed a way to make our communities financially sustainable, while also building tools that empower community builders to build thriving communities. So far, we've built a paid advertising system for our groups. We also have built-in email lists, a paid job board, and even a donation integration. In this video, I'll be adding the ability for users to tip near tokens on Tracker. This feature will allow users to connect their near wallet and then enable them to send near tokens directly to another user. Let's get right into it. Okay, so this is the profile on your Tracker account. Right here, as you can see, we have Cash App, PayPal, Bitcoin, and Patreon. We will be adding near protocol to the top. The first step is to add a near login button. They will have the option to show a tip button on their posts. So it'll look like this and when they click it, they'll see their monetization methods up here. So let's start building. I am on Nier's documentation page for their JavaScript client. And fortunately, Tracker is built on React, so it will integrate perfectly. All right, so we're starting to see some progress. I just made this connect to near button. And when I click it, I'm hoping that it takes me to the near wallet. Awesome. So this just took me to my testnet wallet. And if I click more information, I can see that tracker.testnet is requesting access. If I click allow, it should redirect me back to my profile. Um, it still says connect to near. So now I need to build a disconnect near button. And that's what I'll do right now. Okay, so I just built this disconnect near button. It should disconnect my account and nothing happens. So I just figured out why the logging out button isn't working. I'm pretty sure it's because when you click it, it doesn't refresh this window right here. Now clicking disconnect should refresh and there we go. Now we need to actually record when a user signs in. Right now it's storing all of this data in local storage, but we actually want to record this data in our database. So it's persistent across devices. Okay, so now that we've built a way for a user to connect to their near wallet and disconnect their near wallet, we're going to be adding the tip button for near. And that will go right here. And basically a user will be able to click it and window will pop up where they'll be requested to transfer tokens to the author's near wallet. This is the near tip button. When you click it, this modal pops up that shows the user's account ID and you can even copy it. The next step is going to be a nice UI element where the user can see the equivalent number of near to US dollars. So the user could type in $20 and see the number of near that's equal to. Then we'll be adding a button right above here that says tip. And when they click that, it will request to transfer that number of tokens out of their near wallet. So I just finished this UI element where a user can convert US dollars to near. So for example, if I typed in 15, that would show the number of near that $15 is equivalent to. At the time of this recording, near is just about $3. And as you can see in my code editor, I have set the near price to be a fixed number of three. What we're gonna need to do is actually make this a dynamic value. And the way we're gonna do that is grab the price of near in US dollars from CoinMarketCap's API. So now that we've made the price of near dynamic using CoinMarketCap's API, we're gonna be adding a tip button here. And when the user clicks it, it will take them to their near wallet where they'll be requested to transfer this number of tokens out of their near wallet and into the author's near wallet. So let's head over to Near's API documentation and figure out how to transfer tokens. All right, so we just finished the near button. And in this window, I can type in $10 and that'll convert it to near. And down in the button, you can see tip 3.29 near. If I click that, it will take me to my testnet wallet. It'll it request a transfer 3.3 near out of my wallet. If I click allow, it says transferring. And if we give it a second, it redirects us back to our application. All right, now if I head over to my testnet wallet, we can actually see that transaction we just created. Yep, there it is. We transferred 3.3 near out of my 
account and we sent it right to mosfilling.testnet. So I basically sent it from mosfilling.testnet to the same account um, just for testing and it succeeded. So yeah, and that's the feature complete. So now that we're done, I wanna do a brief overview of the feature as a whole. So, so far we've built a um, connect and disconnect near button. A user can go to their profile and connect their near wallet to their tracker account. Then we built a tip button so a user can monetize their posts and when they click it, there's a near option. When they click the near option, they see this nice UI element where a user can convert their US dollars into near. If I were to type in $15, we see that amount right here and if they click that, it takes them to their near wallet where they'll be requested to transfer those tokens. And that's it, that's the feature complete. I ran into a few issues along the way, but we ended up getting it to work. I just wanted to mention how simple it was building an integration like this using Nier. I had a lot of fun. Anyways, that's all for now. I really hope you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. I'll see you next time.